Hey guys, today we're going to be upgrading our system from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and all we need for this is to make sure our system meets the requirements for Windows 11 and also a stable internet connection. Firstly, let's just check to make sure our system does meet these requirements by heading into the menu, settings and then opening up update and security. You'll have a big message here inform you if your system is ready to upgrade or not. If you're ready to go, then check out the timestamps and skip forward. If you're like us and your system does not meet the minimum requirements just yet, then click on that blue link and head over to the Microsoft support page and then follow the blue link again to download the PC Health Check app. Once the download is complete, this software will let you know exactly why your PC is not capable of running Windows 11 by doing a simple check now. Generally speaking, the two main reasons why your system might not meet the requirements for Windows 11 is TPM 2.0 and UEFI Secure Boot. For us today, it is the TPM 2.0. Good news, if you have a moderately new motherboard, you can actually make some changes in the BIOS and turn both of these on. Restart your PC and jump into the BIOS by repeatedly pressing the appropriate hotkey. For this Gigabyte Z590 motherboard, it's the delete key but this will vary depending on the motherboard manufacturer. When you do reach the BIOS, search for TPM 2.0, which is generally under the settings option and under miscellaneous. This location will vary depending on the manufacturer's BIOS, and it can even be under a different name like Intel Platform Trusted Technology or PTT. So if you're having any trouble finding it, I do recommend checking out the motherboard manual. Once you have found it, enable this option and you can freely save and exit the BIOS to keep the changes. Boot back into Windows and open up the PC Health Check app and you should now have the green light to upgrade to Windows 11. Search Download Windows 11 in your preferred browser and click on that top link. Here we have two options, either we can use the Windows 11 Installation Assistant which will upgrade our system to Windows 11 keeping all our files and applications exactly how they are. Or we can create a Windows 11 Installation Media to install Windows 11 from scratch. If you are interested in that fresh start, then check out our video in the description below on how to create a bootable USB flash drive for Windows 11. For today, however, we will be using the installation assistant as we do want to keep our files exactly how they are. Hit that blue download now button and run the installation assistant after it's finished. Accept the terms and conditions and the upgrade will begin. The time required here will vary depending on your system hardware and once it's done, we'll have 30 minutes before the system will automatically be forced to restart and complete the upgrade. And that's it, welcome to Windows 11. Have a quick check in the file explorer just to make sure you still got all your files and you're all good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about anything we've gone through today, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, thanks for watching.